I watched an interview with a mother of the little boy in the States who um, likes to wear dresses and skirts and get dressed in pink and purple. And um, her reaction and attitude were really striking and um, admirable. Um, the first point she made was that her priority was to not, ch not crush her child's spirit. And so the first thing I want to say is that um, whatever our children choose to do with the way they dress or indeed any other choices about friends or activities or jobs or partners later on, um, if we can start from the premise of not trying to crush their spirit, I'll think I'll have been on the right track if I can start from that premise. Um, the second thing that occurred to me was that once again what's good for children isn't necessarily the same as what's good for me. <laughs> So um, in this particular case, if a child wants to explore their creativity and express independence and develop self-confidence, all that stuff, um, that's good for them. The way they do it might not be exactly what I'd had in mind, but you might have just have to grin and bear it. Um, the third point really is that, is that it's not about clothes at all. Um, clothes, beyond, well beyond clothes, it's about acceptance, I suppose. Um, and learning from my children when they challenge me to look at my own prejudices and uh, certainly watching that interview with a mother with a little boy in the States she's learned a huge amount from her son and will probably parent him in a very very different way um, to how she might have done if he'd never made the delightful decision to dress in dresses and pink.